Hello, Maria. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Very well, very well. It's good to hear from you. Tell me how's Honey Bun doing. Honey Bun is really eating well. Yesterday, she ate around 56 times. Uh, just hearing your voice makes me want to come home right now. Thank you very much. Goodbye. OK, bye. All right. Let's go, Honey Bun. Honey Bun, come. Come, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go, yes. Oh, it was just so nice to hear Stephen's voice. Let's go. Ria was just calling and greeting you. Let's go now. Yeah, it makes me want to get into a plane and just go home and see how everybody's doing myself. But Maria won't go home just yet. There is one more destination she must visit. The end of the line for the majority of trafficked African pangolins. In 2017, Chinese customs officials intercepted the largest illegal shipment of scales on record. Pangolin scales are one of the oldest traditional Chinese medicines. And even as recently as last year, were listed by practitioners as a cure for the symptoms of cancer. Scales from historic stockpiles can legally be prescribed in hospitals. But as long as there is a demand for pangolin products, they will be a black market. You can't help but observe the fact that there's, you know, this really, really ancient culture here sort of in conjunction with this really, really modern culture. I think if the change is going to come here, it's going to come through the younger people. And that's why Maria has come to China, to join forces with a highly influential young woman who's taking a bold approach to addressing the demand for pangolin products. She is one of China's biggest megastars. An actress, a model, and icon, Angela Baby. Hello. Hi, Angela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Maria. Come With over 80 million online followers, she's been using her considerable public profile to seek help for pangolins. Angela Baby's a perfect ambassador for pangolins. She's hitting this whole new young generation. People really love her, and she's very, very well known on this continent. Oh,喜欢穿山甲,喜欢穿山甲是因为曾经在网上看到一个新闻,就是讲那个穿山甲他会保护自己的孩子,他会把自己的孩子放在肚子里,然后就把自己身体卷起来,然后我就是被他那种
Angela is going to bring a totally different perspective to the entire campaign of saving penguins. Penguins definitely need that high profile. The rhino have gotten it, the elephant have gotten it. And penguins have sort of been left behind. This journey has been phenomenal, but I'm ready to pack my bags again and, and get on that flight home. <laughs>